Okay, part three is going to show you how to take the information that you've got here on your 10 events and put them into a, a sheet in such a way that it shows the list of the events, the item that needs to be accomplished, and its deadline. So that at some point you can go in here and filter it down by the dates that you need to so that you can see what, uh, what needs to be done, like either in the month of February, for example, or if you select a particular date, it will show you what date it's to. So you can filter this down to the 10 jobs that you need to do on a particular date or what you need to do in the particular month or, or pretty much whatever it is that you're looking for. Okay? This is not an easy sheet to build. Um, it is time consuming and this is going to give you just kind of a framework of how to build it out. If you're going to build out a lot of events, you're going to have to, continue, you're going to, have to duplicate this process over and over and over until you're done. But the bottom line is that this information is being called in uh, from sheet number one. So let me show you how that's done. The, the word item over here is in column A3. Uh, it's the word item which is brought over into this other sheet and it's right here and it's the item and these are the item numbers and you can see here this is the formula. It's a pretty simple formula. It's equals sheet one, that's this name here, and cell A3. There's an exclamation mark between the two so it's sheet one exclamation part point a3, okay? That means it's coming from sheet one, cell A3, okay? And each one of these contains the same, oops, sorry, the same kind of uh, uh, formula. So in the case of the event name, that's coming from sheet one, cell B3. Uh, the uh, print job names are all coming from uh, sheet one, cell A4, for example, that's this one right here, print job, email, shipping, setup, postmortem, those are all being called in. See, this is cell A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, and if you look at the sheet here, that's A4, and then A5, A6, A7, A8, and it's in this case, in the case of the items, it's repeated down Again, for the print jobs for event two. Event two, actually, if we go back and look at the event names, that's being called in from B3 right here. Uh, this is being called in from B4. I'm sorry, C3 right here. If you look at that, it'll show C3 here. You got, you got um, B3 here, you got C3 here, and it's logical. The more you do it, the more sense it makes. Um, and then you do the same thing with the, with the deadlines. So here we've got from sheet one, it's B4. And if you toggle down, and actually the nice thing about this is if you uh, remember the first uh, parts, you can, you can go here and grab, since there are five fields, f five items here from print job to postmortem, if you grab it from B4, if you're grabbing it from, the, from sheet one B4, you can actually go here and hold the mouse bu button down and grab it and all these numbers will be called in automatically. And you would do the same thing down here with print job from, th these are being called in from row uh, column B3, these are being called in from B4, this is being called in from C3, this would be called in from C4, so if you take this formula and put it in here and make that C4, You'll see that that now is coming in from C4 on sheet one. Here's C4 right here. That's February 8th. It's February 8th. If you look at this, that's February 8th. So that matches. And if you pull this down, hold them, down, get to plus and hold down, you can pull those in too. So yes, it's it's a little time consuming to pull this in, but once you get all ten events in here. You'll have all 10 events, all the items, all the deadlines, and then you can sort down to the date to see what it is you need to accomplish for that date.